How's it going? Um, today is just going to show you a little camp stove I got last year and we've used a few times out camping and it seems to work pretty good just for cooking a quick meal or making a pot of coffee. So um, it's, you can use it with wood or you can use it with uh, the alcohol gel. I haven't used that stuff in it yet. It's kind of like a cheap version of a solo stove. But it packs up into this little carrying bag here. And to set it up, you just, um, this is your base here. And then this, set, this here comes out. That's your uh, ash tray kind of thing that catch, you set out your wood on. That flips over that way. And then that sits there. And then it come, this is, if you wanted to use the alcohol, you put it in this bowl and set it in there. Or if you want to use wood, you just put your wood down in here. And then this is for cooking. So you have these to hold your pot or your pan or whatever. Or you can sit this uh, grill on it here. And you got like a little, a little grill. I haven't used it as like that. But I've used my 10 inch cast iron skillet on here and it supports it pretty good. Today I brewed a pot of coffee and or perked a pot of coffee with the Coleman perker there. And that just sits up there. But if you look at it, it's got the the dual wall cylinder here for the burn chamber. So you get like the secondary burn like the solo stoves get. But this was around 20 bucks, I think. And I just got it just to try it out last year when we were planning on doing a couple of trips where we weren't going to have any type of electricity or anything. And uh, it worked pretty good. So I thought I'd show you guys the cheap option if you want to be able to make some coffee or I know I've used it to fry eggs and sausage and stuff like that for breakfast. And usually if you get a good bed of coals in there, like burn three or four handfuls of stuff before you start cooking on it you know it, you won't have to add much to it if anything and then uh but like today i just got it burning and put the coffee on right away and then i had to pull it off and add a handful of sticks to it two or three times so but it works either way and uh they also make a new updated version of this that is on the link to this and um, the part that the pot sits on is elevated a little higher so you can kind of feed stuff in underneath it so you don't have to pull it off to add more wood to it or whatever. But so yeah, I made a pot of coffee this morning with the Coleman uh, Perker and I use these filters in it. They have a hole in the middle and a hole in each corner so you can fold it over once you put your coffee grounds in there. And it does a pretty good job containing all the grounds if you want to just use regular coffee in these things. Uh, I know you can get coarse ground coffee or coffee beans and coarse grind them yourself and it'd probably contain it pretty good just in a steel filter there. But with regular ground coffee, the paper filters help contain everything and it still turns out really good. It's probably my favorite way to drink coffee without anything added to it. It's just rich and creamy coffee so <laughs> all right well hope you guys like this video and check it out